Let's take a look at some examples where we need to use the inclination of a line to solve a problem. Please will you pause the video and try these on your own and then you can watch the video to check whether you were correct. Question 1. A line has an inclination of alpha equals 45 degrees and passes through the point 1, negative 2. Find the equation of the line. So if we are finding the equation of a straight line, we are looking for the equation y is equal to mx plus c. We were not given the gradient, but we were told what the inclination of the line is. And we know that the tan of the angle of inclination is in fact equal to the gradient of the line. So if you punch tan 45 into your calculator, you get your gradient to be positive 1. So your equation will be 1x plus c. In order to solve for C, we can now use the second piece of information we were given, which was the coordinate 1, negative 2. So that gives us negative 2 is equal to 1 plus C, subtract 1 from both sides, and your C value is negative 3. So therefore, we must make sure we give our final answer as the equation. It will be 1x minus 3 will be the equation of that line. Question 2. A line passes through the points negative a half and five and two and three quarters. Determine the inclination of the line. Okay, now just a reminder, inclination of a line is defined as the angle between the line and the x-axis measured in an anti-clockwise direction. So if for a positive gradient line, the angle of inclination will look like that. And for a negative gradient line, the angle of inclination will look like that. It is always measured in an anti-clockwise direction, going opposite from a clock. Okay, so bearing that in mind, if we want to know the inclination of the line, we first need to know the gradient of the line. So we can use our gradient formula, so y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And that gives you a value of negative 17 over 10. So we know that this line has a negative gradient. We also know that the tan of whatever the angle of inclination is, is equal to the gradient of the line. So if we want to solve for the angle, we're going to find the tan negative 1, or the shift tan button on your calculator, of negative 17 over 10. So you would type into your calculator, shift the tan button, then negative 17 over 10, and that will give you theta to be negative 59, 4, etc., etc., degrees. Now, the angle measured in an anti-clockwise direction on the Cartesian plane is always a positive angle. The moment you get a negative angle, what is actually happening is they are measuring the angle in a clockwise direction. Now, what you can see about these two angles over here is that they add up to 180 degrees. So if I want to get the positive angle, all I need to do is add 180 degrees and it will give me the 120,47, which is the angle of inclination. So when you are working with inclination, if ever you get a negative angle as your answer, you must always add 180 degrees to find out what the angle measured in the anti-clockwise direction is.